What is going on, folks? It is K Spade the Prospect back today with a brand new NBA Live 18 video for you guys. I got some 3v3 live run gameplay and I might have spoiled myself. Now, the last video I brought you guys, I deviated from the plan. I said, I'm not going to do any Randy's out here. I'm going to jump out here with the homies. I had a real good time, man. We actually ran for a little while. And of course, I only brought you a couple of those games, but we played for a little while. And after that day, I don't know, like, the itch was back, so I've been playing a lot. I've been playing solo, I've been playing with the homie. Spark is taking a charge in a 3v3 game, but the itch was back. I wanted to play more, and I've been playing more. And I'm telling you, I'm a weird person, so when I start to play more, I start to notice things like, oh man, I feel like this should be like this, or this should be like that, and I'm just one of those guys. Now, maybe everybody does it, I don't know. But I really think it's a skill. Like, I don't care what it is. It can be something dumb like a cigarette lighter. If you give it to me to tinker with, after a while, I think I'm going to find a more efficient way for this thing to work. So I've been playing a lot of 3v3 live run. I like it, I, obviously. And there's some things I think could make it even better. So I think what I want to start to do, I haven't really decided how I want to do it. I think I might start dropping these videos and giving you guys maybe one thing per video. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of freestyling this thing. I don't have any idea how I want to do it, but I kind of want to share the things that I think would make it better with you guys and also give you guys a platform where you can hit me up and say, I feel like if they did this, that, other, other. You know, just a variety of things that can make it better. I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun with it. I got a lot of stuff recorded. So you're going to see this gameplay on my channel more frequently now, so get ready for it. And hey, if you know anybody else that like this gameplay, tell them. Tell them to come through the channel and check it out. But anyway, enough of that chit chat. Let me get into what's going on out here because this particular night that we was running, me and my friends took our first L. We was feeling pretty confident. We were saying like, hey, I don't even know if we can be beat. Like nobody can't beat us. And then we took some L's, man. Not only did we take some L's, on one of the runs I was using my rim protector, I had to guard a dude that was a guard and he was giving me the wiggles, breaking my ankles left and right. And this fool had the audacity to send me a message after the game and call me a bomb. And I was like, oh shit, okay. That's all I need, a little bit of trash talk. I'm in there like swimwear, let's get it. So this particular game right here, these dudes was giving us a run for our money. The dude with the dreads, the little short guy, the man, if you gotta look at the shot, he was making it rain. Kinda remind me of somebody else I know. He was definitely doing his job. Right here, your boy tried his best to get behind the three point line. I couldn't get back there. I take the two. Right now, I'm batting a 1,000 out here. Three of three, no misses, and still keeping my teammates involved. One of the things that I have trouble with, and I don't even want it changed. I don't want it changed. But one of the things I have trouble with is I forget to right stick up to contest shots. And the thing is, it's because I play 2K as well as live. So on 2K, when you walk up to the person, your guy contests automatically. I don't have, I actually think you should have to contest. You should do it manually. But... I'm playing 2K and, and it's muscle memory. So I get used to just walking up to him and I'm expecting my guy to contest automatically. And then I get on this game and I'm walking up to people and I'm just staring at them. Like I'm just having like competitive staring contests. Like I walk up to a guy shooting and I just look at him. And of course he makes the shot because I'm not contesting it. So this is one of the things that was bothering me in this particular run. It was affecting me and my teammates. Like neither of us was really contesting shots. And you can see we was in a bit of a dog fight. I see Spark cutting down the paint. Hey, I'm just going to hit him with the easy pass. Now you know with me, I kind of get spoiled with showing off. I like to throw flashes. I like to get my alley-oops in. But I want this win. And I just felt like the game was a little too close at that point. For me to be out here trying to stunt. I want this dub, bro. Like, at this point, we had not lost any games yet. So, we still on the win streak. And we telling ourselves, hey, like, these dudes actually, look at me. Look at me looking at them. Boy, I will stare a hole through you. I will. I might not play no damn defense, but I see you. I'm staring. And I told the homies, I said, man, we can't lose this game. Look at Spike. All right, now I'm throwing oops. And we was actually down and I threw that oops. So, never mind. Obviously, the severity of the game ain't got nothing to do with when I decide to be ignorant or not. Great show defense right here, getting back on my guy. And our rotation was actually pretty good. Now, he looked at that three for a long time. That let me feel like he really didn't want it. You know what I'm saying? A shooter not waiting that long before he pulled that shot. Rap passes out to me. I'd rather take the easy two. That bucket right there puts us really at game point, a three-point basket to get us out of here with the dub. So even if they score on this possession, they kind of out of here. You know what I'm saying? You got to win by two. So they, they out of here as long as we can score. 
and we still want to make sure we fight with these guys to the end of it it can't end any better way than that right there that's only a two-point basket but you got my man iso and out here trying his best to break spark just showing off the dribbles spark was kind of like whenever you through playing with the rock fam i'll just come take that and finish with an easy dunk on the back end that a game really ours it's a four point game i don't care what they get here it matters not of course they find a little dread dude my man was off the cam couldn't even see him pulled a three made it rain okay i mean i guess he probably feeling like he back look how easy we're gonna get up out of here though oh no actually we didn't get out of here easy because i tried to stunt at the time that i shouldn't have tried to stunt i'm guilty of that but great defense by spark my man thought he was gonna have an open three Realize he wasn't trying to pass out of that shot. Hey, you're doing a little too much. Now, look, I'm not going to do anything stupid here. I really could have cost us the game right there. We get it back to Spark. We was very fundamental on that last play trying to get the dub. And one of the things that happened after this game that surprised me is that these three guys stayed. You don't see that often on live. That's one of the things I kind of don't like. I mean, I like that they got the freedom to leave. I just wish more people stayed. Like, usually after a game, people be out. Even in this particular round, we lost the game, and we wanted our rematch, and after that game, those dudes was out. So we was like, damn, we didn't even get a chance, you know, to get our lunch money back or whatever. But I try to give you guys two games per video. That's the first game down. 89 teammate grade. I kind of did my thing. Nothing too much, you know. I don't go out here and try to carry, but I did enough. And all three of these guys stayed now you got to look at this game differently we know what they want to do they know what we want to do you know you got that whole game plan now let's see if it goes that same way and i feel like now with a game under our belt we're gonna be more prepared to contest shots i think i'm gonna do a little less staring on this run right here we win the tip rap's gonna bring it out slow and methodical just throw it down in the paint let spark eat spark kind of be eating bruh i don't know if it's just not a lot of bigs in this mode i don't know Y'all tell me, Spark be eating up. My man coming back actually attacking the basket and trying to go flashy. Now, it's only a 2-0 game, so wait, hold on. Let me get this. Let me get this. Oh, I missed time the hell out of it, bruh. Like, I was ready to shoot, and my guy was still stepping back it through my time and all. As you can see, I wasn't able to get that shot to fall. So, to my surprise, the shooter from last game came out trying to do, like, some flashy stuff. Couldn't get it to go. He gets his first look at a shot right here and can't get that to go. So, you take me who was super efficient the last time you take him that was super efficient both guys start off with some misses okay now i got my shot to go that's my first made shot of the game and it's a 7-0 game so they really need to come out and answer if they want a chance at staying in this game and he comes back that might have been a thirst bucket they playing from behind he could have worked for a better shot he could have swung it around let somebody pass it back to him get him a better shot he came down to pull that ill-advised shot and now i'm in my bag now i'm out here goofing off we throwing oop like, I'm all the way gone now. I'm all the way gone. 9-0 game right here. He's still throwing flashes. You ain't learned your lesson, have you? Okay. Okay, look at my defense in the paint. No, ain't nothing easy. And look how quick we running out the oop from the three-point line. Spark took that joker around the world, too. Windmilled it down. 11-0. Ain't that skunk? That's skunk, right? Hey, y'all got to go. I guess we'll see if they score here. The pull-up jumper cashes, so I guess we'll let y'all stay. I guess so. Okay. 11-2 is the score here, man, and it's still going to be goof-off time. It's still going to be play-around time because I don't know that they can do anything to get back into this. I really don't, especially when you got me making shots that's not green. My player don't make a lot of shots that's not green. If I don't green them, usually they just come off the rim, but I'm making those shots too. It don't look good for them. 14-2, this might still be skunk. Y'all still might have to get your controllers and get your ass up out of here. You still might have to go. I know my man right here want to shoot. He was the offensive catalyst for this team last game. And he really, there he, boy, can't get it going this game. He can't get it going. And he kind of went into Kobe mode, y'all. Like, after his shot wasn't falling, he didn't really trust the other two guys. Like, he was like, if we're going to lose, we're going to lose with me chucking. I guess I respect it. Like, the shooter in me respect it. I'm sure his teammates probably don't like that, though. 16-2. to It's getting ugly out here. The pump fake gets me in the air. I'm going to tell you, man. I jumped at the pump fake, came down, turned around. He tried to shoot out. Still was there on some Freddy Krueger stuff. Like, you take off running from Freddy Krueger, and he just be walking, and he still catch you. That's who I feel like. I'm throwing the oop to spark. He's throwing it down. It's 18 to 2, bruh. Come on, man. We got to finish this one with some style, with some pizzazz. That's what I'm thinking anyway. Dreadlocks pulling the short shot. Can't get it to go. He's having a rough one. 
Man, he having a rough go. We don't connect on the alley oop right there, though. They get a chance to show some form of life. 13. I know who's not getting the ball on this play, and that's Dreadlock, dude. He kind of been hogging a little bit. I don't know who was going. I didn't know who was going to shoot. I knew who wasn't going to shoot. Oh, spinning on him. Going to the rack with the left hand layup. I'm telling you, it is show off time. If there's any chicks in the crowd, man, focus your attention to the cat out here in the bape shirt. He is I and I am him. You see I'm out here recording the clip and everything. 20 to 5 is your score. Look, this thing is kind of like Call of Duty where everybody want that play of the game just like COD players want that doggone TV time, what I call it, that, that uh, you know, the kill cam. Rap comes out. That's a pretty nice shot, little spinning shot right there. I felt like my spin to the layup combo was easily the best play of the game. I don't know who's running the highlights out here, but they might want to look at my play again because Rap just spun on nobody. Nobody was there. Like, that's a wide open shot. But anyway, kudos to my teammates, man. We came out here and got it done, man. I'm, hey, I'm telling you, if y'all see me out there, get ready because I'm a hooping. That's all I got for the day, though, folks. I'm out the next time, y'all. Yeah.